Sometimes as born again Christians, we think we become too super holy and that we have so much of favor that God will overlook things that we, we do, although we, we know it will anger him. Friends, does your actions anger God? Well, today I want to take you straight to one of the epistles that Apostle Paul wrote. And he's writing here to believers in Rome. So I'm in the book of Romans, chapter 1. And in verse number 7 of that chapter 1, he says, I, Paul, am writing to you all in Rome who are loved by God and are called to be his own holy people. Now, friends, in just one word, Paul is writing to believers, God's sons and daughters. But it turns, and he, well, during that um, interaction or through the writing of that letter, he commends them for their faith and so on. And I challenge you to go and read that. But in verse 18, it turns the entire thing around. And he says, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Now, we are talking about believers. Well, he speaks about believers at first, commends them, and now he goes into this sinful, wicked people that suppress the truth with their wickedness. There's a lesson in here, friends. Paul is giving us a warning. Yes, although we love the Lord and although we do good, that's not good enough. Because sometimes our actions do not represent, oh, does not represent the God we serve. And we take God for granted. We become haphazard in our approach to life. We neglect certain things that God has instructed us to do to keep us on that path of righteousness and we let holiness slip and don't for one minute think that God does not get angry it's clearly written in verse 18 God shows his anger from heaven that's right friends and this is not about Jesus when he walked the, the face of the earth and you know Jesus also got angry picture when Jesus went into the temple and he tore down up the tables and people were peddling in the temple. I'm not talking about that because that's in the physical. Yes, God came down 100% in flesh, 100% in spirit. But this is, and Paul is very specific. God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people. In what category do you fall in? Are you a believer that's walking a righteous path a holy and leading a holy life? Or are you a believer in inverted commas with wickedness, sinfulness, and your actions totally represent the world instead of the God you served or you serve? Friends, let's not become conceited. Let's not drop our guards. Yes, God still loves us. Therefore, he allows these warnings to come through. Where do you stand? Only you can answer that. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, once again, Daddy, in no other name we come but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the warnings. Thank you for the alarm bells and the red flags that, Lord, bring us to a point of correction. We thank you, Lord. We ne we're not going to fall into the hands of a God that's angry. Lord, forgive us where we have failed you. Not if we fail you, but where we fail you. Put us back on this track and road of righteousness and holiness. Lord, forgive us and we ask you, we confess and repent of it. Today, Lord, may we be again the light and salt of the world. Thank you, Lord, for correction. And we accept it, we speak it, we declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Friends, does your action 
anger God. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.